a student prepared a 0.1 mole per liter solution of propanoic acid and found the pH was 2.96. What is the acid ionization constant for propanoic acid? What is the percent ionization? As with any other problem, we should plan our strategy. We have an initial concentration of propanoic acid. It must have reacted with water to form hydronium ions in order to give us a pH. And the pH is given as 2.96. What we need is to find the acid ionization constant, which is derived from the equilibrium concentrations of the acid, ionized anion, and hydrogen ion. We'll deal with the percent thing later. Setting up an ice table shows clearly the balanced ionization equation and initial concentrations. To find the equilibrium constant, we need the equilibrium concentrations. In the absence of an equilibrium constant, we can't afford to say that the reactant decreases by x and the products increase by x because our equilibrium concentrations will have a variable x we can't solve without the equilibrium constant. So where do we go from here? The pH tells us the concentration of the hydrogen ions at equilibrium. Recall your chemistry 20 when you had to calculate pH from hydrogen ion concentrations. If you need reminding of this, review chapter 6 in your textbook. Substitute the pH from the question and calculate the antilog, often performed as second function log on many calculators. And the hydrogen ion concentration at equilibrium is 1.0964 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. Added to the table, we now know the hydrogen ions increased from 0 moles per liter to 1.096 times 10 to the negative 3 moles per liter. So this means as the hydrogen ion concentration increased, then so did the anion concentration by the same amount because of the 1 to 1 molar ratio as shown in the equation. The propanoic acid concentration decreased by the same amount, again because of the 1 to 1 mole ratio. Now we have all the changes to the initial concentrations. We can determine the equilibrium concentrations. And now we have the equilibrium concentrations. We can now substitute them into the equilibrium expression to determine the equilibrium constant. The equilibrium expression for this reaction, the product of the equilibrium concentration of the products divided by the equilibrium concentration of the reactant, we now substitute in the equilibrium concentrations. So the Ka for this ionization reaction is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 5. So we've answered the first part of the question. Now let's determine the percent ionization. In other words, what percent of the acid is ionized to form the equilibrium products? A general equation you should remember to calculate percent ionization is hydrogen ion concentration at equilibrium divided by the acid's initial concentration times 100. Substitute in the amounts. And to the correct number of significant digits, we get 1.1%. The equilibrium of weak bases uses concepts similar to the equilibrium of weak acids. The general equilibrium constant, Kb, is given by the expression, shown here, where B negative is the concentration of the base. And it doesn't have to be a negative ion. Ammonia is a base without a negative charge, for example. And Hb is the bronsted lowry conjugate acid. Calculating the Kb is performed in much the same way as calculating the Ka. 
You can also calculate the Kb of an acid ionization reaction, and likewise the Ka of a base ionization reaction, by remembering how Ka's and Kb's are related. The product of Ka and Kb is equal to the Kw, the ionization constant of water. And Kw has the numeric value of 1.0 times 10 to the negative 14. This is the auto ionization constant for water and is a value that's found in your data book.